All right, taking a break from making crypto videos about the stock market and stuff. Let's jump into a, a little bit of Toyota maintenance again. I have two Toyotas. One is a Sequoia 2012, keeping that thing until I cannot drive it any longer. Because have you seen, have you seen the cost of new cars? It's, it's not a call, it's not a call to, it's not a call to, it's not called a car loan anymore. It's called a car mortgage. Oh my God, 100,000 bucks for a freaking car. No way, man. Not paying it. Not going to happen. Anyway, so I have a Tacoma as well that has a 2016 on it as well. Keeping those things. Basic maintenance. Fluids. All your fluids, guys. If you have any car. Of course, do the oil. 5,000 miles or six months. Oil ages. Just swap it out. It's cheap insurance. Transmission fluid. Look at your manual on your tranny fluid. Uh, coolant fluid. Not as hard as it sounds. There is an engine block drain you got to get to to get it all out, but you may want to do that. You can also do a fill and replace uh, flush, whatever, on your power steering to get the old stuff out as well. All these little fluids you don't really know about other than oil. You should keep up on them. For me today, I found this site I've been looking at for the past month. Most of these uh, Toyota dealerships have these uh, sites with the actual parts on it, the whole parts department. This was called Toyota Parts Delivered. Uh, this one is out of Nashua, I think Connecticut. There's some in Florida I, I found as well. This one actually has better diagrams, even though it's the same exact software. And what you can do is put in your vehicle over here. You can search, and then you get the schematics right there. And what I am looking for today is I went in, I dropped the lower shield underneath the engine, which is called, oh, you think it's called, oh, I don't know what it's called. Where is it? This is one of those things that has many names. It's just an under protector. Splash shield. Bum, bum, bum. Some call it a skid plate. But Toyota calls it a splash shield. Click on splash shield. Blammo, you get a nice schematic. This is it right here. So I dropped mine, and uh, I, I mean, drop it in that I took it off, and there is the bolts right there. What I found, uh, again, this is my own fault. I let a dealership do the maintenance a while ago, and they stripped, broke off two of these bolts. There's five bolts. One, two, uh, three, I think four and five. Two are broken off, and I'm going to try to get them out. I don't have a welding thing to get them out, but I'm going to try to drill them out. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. Those are the bolts I broke off. I removed the other ones. I'm soaking them in uh, PB Blaster right now. I do have replacement bolts, but I may just recycle, keep using the ones I got, and just put grease on them or anti c just to keep them longer. I could just order them as well, but here they are. So what you do, you got your numbers. Let's go down, this is taking too long. This is easy stuff. Gives you all the schematics, look at this stuff. Let's go to 16 for the bolts, boom, there's your bolts. Add to card, a buck 32, not even a bad price. So it's pretty cool. And here is the actual splash shield. I'm not replacing the shield, it's 236 bucks. Not terrible, mine's in all right shape. For a 2012 had some curved bends on the tips so what i'm gonna do it started to rust it's not bad it's just had minor surface rust on it from neglect you know just it's just an old car right but it's in good shape so what i want to do is what i what i did i uh sprayed it down got as much gunk off it as i could and then i went and i uh, put a lot of dawn soap on it to get the grease and contaminants off it wiped it down Don did again soaked it up sudsy sudsies Rinse it down and let it air dry. Now what I'm going to do and what I'm doing right now is I've got some um, Rust-Oleum. And let me see if I can find that for you guys. Stand by. We're doing this real time. Doing this real time. All right. Can I bring this up here? Where'd it go? I'm going to bring this over here. <laughs> I just screwed that up. What is going on here? All right. Home Depot wants to know my location. No. So I got some of this today for 12 bucks. Rust-Oleum, it's black. Rust, rust Reformer. And I'm just going to cover 
the splash shield with this to uh, basically stop any more rusting and make it make it look good. Not that you can see it. It's just another layer of protection to do that. It's just to keep the truck around a lot more. I don't need to buy another cover that's stupid when I just buy a $12 can of spray paint and uh, cover it according. All right, let's go out. I wanted to show you the site where you can go get all the parts you need for your Toyotas, which is useful. Uh, this one, blah, 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 where did it go? This one happens to be parts.toyotaofnashua.com. And then you can just look up Toyota parts. And it's called um, Parts on the Go or something like that. Toyota Parts Delivered. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And you can actually put in your VIN too to make sure everything is accurate. I like this stuff because sometimes you can even cross-reference on Amazon. But Amazon, you may get stuff that doesn't fit. And then you got to go through the whole, not the pain, just the delay in my part i you know it's not really tough to return something with amazon it's just well you lost a few days because you got the wrong part you didn't it didn't actually fit your 2012 sequoia or whatever car so this is good you put in the uh, the vin number the year of the model and a little more criteria to make sure you get the right parts all right let's go out and show you where i'm at on stage one of this easy right. easy but let's make another toyota video while the uh stock market all right, big daddies, there is the 2012 Sequoia Splash Shield. I, uh, like I said, cleaned it up pretty good with Dawn, and before that, some brake cleaner. Got all the oils and crap off, wiped it down, let her dry, and then I put the first coating of the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer on, and that's just one coat right now. I'm going to let it dry a bit, and I'll do one more coat, and again, I'll flip it over and do the inside as well. Not going for showroom finish here. I'm just going for stopping the rust. All right. What do you think? At 12 bucks, man, I don't care. As long as I just keep it, trying to keep the truck as long as I can and stop rust. And we'll flip it over after I do one more coat. Boom, boom, boom. And I think two coats will be enough for this. And it's going to get scraped up anyway when people remove it. Lesson learned, I'm not going to a mechanic ever again for basic maintenance. I'm just going to do it myself. I actually went to Home Depot, and if you look over here, I bought myself. This is a three-ton garage jack. It was $139, bucks, less than their two-ton jack, which was more low-profile for cars. I just need it for trucks. This thing is sweet, man. Uh, I had one before, old school, and I missed having a floor jack. Hated using the one that came with the card. The bottle jack took forever. So I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, all right, let this dry. And I'll flip it over, do the inside, two coats. And ever, uh, depending on how much I have left in this, I'll just use it all on this thing. 12 bucks. Can't beat it. Project for the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little ticked because I still have to go in and get the two bolts out. I started drilling one. It is a pain in the butt. Um, I don't have a welding. I'm not a welder. I can't attach something to it and get that bolt out. I'm going to drill it out. Good luck, right? Good luck. Right, there's the second coat on. I just sprayed it. And what I found that works best is full sweeps back and forth, right? Then you'll start getting horizontal lines once you get all the way down and coverage. Then I go perpendicular sweeps. Just make it all crisscross like that. And boom. Do that, you get good coverage. It is what it is, so it seems to cover the best. All right, I'm going to let this dry. Flip it over and do the inside. <laughs> 